Hi class! Welcome back. It's Mrs. Lawson. Last week we took a look at some fractions. Do you remember some of them? We learned that one-fourth means that you have one out of the four pieces to make one. We also learned that one-half means that you have one out of the two pieces that you need. And we learned that one-third means that you have one out of the three pieces you need. Hmm. I have my apple here. I cut it into two pieces. Do you remember what fraction would show how much this part of the apple would be? Do you remember? It's one half. Just like this is half of the circle. And one half looks like this. It's one out of the two pieces that you need to make one. Well today we're going to look at even more fractions because you can have more fractions than just one half, one third, and one fourth. Today we're going to expand what we know and look at one sixth. Do you think you could have one seventh? Or one eighth? Or one ninth? Or one tenth? You can. In fact, in our money, one tenth of a dollar would be a dime. We can divide one into lots of different pieces. Let's take a look together. Class, do you remember last week when we were looking at parts of one piece of fruit? Maybe you remember that we took one apple and we cut it in half or two even pieces. And we said that that was one half. I have some pretend pieces of fruit here that are cut into pieces. And the first one that I want us to look at is the pear. This pear has been cut into two pieces. One piece would be called one half, or one out of the two pieces we would need to make one whole pair. This apple has been cut into three pieces. If we have one of these pieces, we would say it is one third of an apple. Although, oh, I don't think that's the piece we want. Yuck! This orange has been cut into four pieces. If we had one of the pieces, it would be called one-fourth because it's one out of the four pieces that we would need to make one orange. Let's look at this cantaloupe. In this cantaloupe, there are one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. We would say that one of these pieces is one-sixth of a cantaloupe. It is one out of the six pieces that we need. Now this isn't fruit, but we've taken one dollar and cut it into ten pieces. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. We need one hundred cents for a dollar. So if we have one dime, we have one tenth of a dollar. Or one out of the ten pieces that we need to make a dollar. Well class, thank you so much for learning with me today. We have been learning that one can be divided into smaller pieces. We can actually have less than one. Maybe you already knew that. 
maybe when you were baking at home you knew that you could have one cup or half of a cup or one third or a one fourth of a cup well today I think I'm gonna have a very healthy snack and eat one half of an apple I'd like for you to notice things that are fractions at your house what is something that is one half in your house or one fourth what are some things that are cut into pieces at your house I want you to think about it can you find any fractions let me know have a great day bye bye